Good morning, Dad. Morning. I'm heading to City of Hope and he is going to watch the kids. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I am at City of Hope with the man of my dreams. It is CT scan day! I'm so thrilled to be here. <laughs> we're not scared and we're not tired. I'm not terrified. You know, what would make me terrified? The fact that they're checking on the status of my cancer to see if this treatment that I'm doing can continue. Are you more nervous for it? this than the MRI that you just had, or was the MRI worse? Okay, so a silver lining of today is I have no brain MRI. Yeah. I am thrilled that I have no brain MRI. Those just send me into a terrible spiral of fear. So, yay, thank you, no, no brain MRI. Just a CT scan, no biggie, I can handle it. Honestly, CT scans are no biggie, easy, and I can handle them. But this one is a CT of the chest and pelvic area, and you have to drink this drink for that scan. And I hate the drink. <laughs> you can't eat for three hours before, so I haven't eaten since last night. I'm fine, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm still sick from chemo. It's seven days after chemo and I'm still sick, I'm still nauseous, so the idea of this drink is even worse than on a good day. But I'll get through it, and I hate the contrast that goes in me, but that's okay. It like triggers a bunch of cancer memories, and the taste makes me sick. Like you can, even though it goes in your blood, but you can taste it. It's gross. So those are the cons. The pros, no brain MRI, CT scans I can handle, no biggie. I'm just terrified <laughs> to do it. I'm scared for the results, but I think it's going to be good results, right? Yeah. Good results. Our doctor said he expects good results, so we should too. So that's what we're going with. We brought some things. There's a little basket here at City of Hope where you can leave things for other cancer patients. And I brought some of the freezer socks that I use. Extra, never worn. Yeah, new. And then um, this book my sister got me. She got me a few cancer books for children when I was diagnosed. And this one is for breast cancer. <clears throat> so we just don't read this one. Uh, we, we have, but we just don't reach for it. And so I thought maybe someone else could benefit from having that. So we will leave those in the basket. I'm excited. This is my first time doing it. I didn't know the basket existed until, well, maybe it didn't during COVID. Probably not. I didn't see it until maybe a month or so ago. Bless you. Sorry. Maybe a month or so ago. So maybe it's new or they brought it back or something. So I'm excited to leave something there for some someone. Um, it's going to be a good day. Kyle's wearing his way the blue <coughs> sweater. He got this to wear on Winnie's birthday at Disneyland, but it was too hot. It says Winnie, how cute is that? It's my daughter. I have my oversized Kyle sweatshirt, or this is a jacket, and it's because the I love a cozy hug on scary days like this, and mine is getting a little snug with the steroid weight gain, so. This, this one's always my favorite though, even when, I was, wear, yeah. even when I was um, not gaining weight from steroids. I'm wearing my Rebellious Hope t-shirt for my cousin Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. I love it so much. <clears throat> Let's all have some Rebellious Hope. No matter what they say in these scans, I have hope. Yep. Right? Ain't going nowhere. We're, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll get through it. It's scorching hot today. <laughs> We're in Southern California, and it's hot. 
but me personally, this is for comfort. I need a hug. You, is it the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's always hot, so I don't know how he's gonna go by wearing a sweatshirt. But well, and it's always cold in it's there. It's cold in the hospital, <clears throat> so we'll be. We'll be fine. Yeah. All right, I'm so excited. Let's go. It'll be great. Good news coming our way soon, I know it. Why do I get all giddy and weird when I'm nervous? Because it's scary, so your body's like, all right. I'm just trying to stay positive. Last night we got no sleep, <clears throat> just a few hours, because we're, well, for me personally, I was... Stalling. Stalling, yeah, yeah. So I made some bracelets for some people that I love. And you edited a little bit. I edited. He cleaned and took flower for a walk. Shiloh, <laughs> Shiloh. Shiloh tried. Yeah. Not happening. Okay, so let's go. Also, I didn't wear something with port access, even though they're gonna do blood work today, because I wanted to wear my Rebellious Hope T-shirt. So I'm gonna tell them to use my arm, please. It's worth it. bizarre how I was in a really good mood and then instantly when the contrast goes in it's like I'm instantly sad and scared it's really weird I hate it <laughs> um, the contrast feels worse going in through the IV when it goes in through the port it like hits your body differently it's really weird the CT scan was quick not bad at all it was in a pretty machine that had like rainbow lights. Nice. That's a little thing that makes it a nicer experience. And then the nurse was so nice. Now I'm just sad. There was a gentleman in the waiting room who I overheard has been battling for 14 years. Mm. And his cancer's moved around a couple times, different spots, and they just treat it and then some time off and then treat it again get some time off yeah so, I heard I heard that before I went back and there. him and his wife were like whatever cool I know that made me feel really hopeful he was really cool he's really cool he had cool loafers and a purse and a British accent he had a British accent yeah why don't more men do purses I don't know I think more men need to do purses this guy looked so cool with his purse and loafers and yeah, him and his wife, I'm assuming it was his wife, 
we're just super cool no and calm. Problem, no problem. Just getting scanned. About cancer. Yep. It made me feel really hopeful too. You feel good. Yeah. Oh, I'm dropping my head off. <laughs> now I need to get some water in me to flush out the contrast and probably get some eat food some since food. you passed it. Yeah. I feel so nauseous from chemo still and the contrast doesn't help and the drink, that drink doesn't help. But I missed having my port today. I must say, I prefer doing it all with the port. I just wanted to wear my shirt. Yeah. I saw a couple people deny their port usage today. Really? It was almost as if they were saying, I don't feel like accessing it or changing. Did they say why? Well, one of the ladies, she said, do you want to use your port today? And she goes, no, no, just my arm. It's fine. Sometimes I feel that, so like, like I don't feel like using my port because you didn't feel like numbing it or... Just all the things. Yeah, sometimes it's easy to just use your arm, but I missed my port today. Yeah. Scan done. We will await results. Yeah, I don't know if I'll hear anything today. I think it's rare to hear something the, hear something the day of. I think it was just that brain results day. <clears throat> was a fluke thing. Fluke, yeah. mm -hmm. But if if I hear today, I'll I'll update you guys. Yep. When we were at City of Hope, I ran into my main oncologist while walking through the hallways, and I was brave and said hi. I was excited to see him. And were you excited to see him? I was a celebrity. Yeah, and he like stopped to chat with us. Like we were important. <laughs> Yeah, it was so nice. It was so nice. Right now, Kyle just kind of no. swerved a little <laughs> on the freeway. Nothing crazy. You know when you kind of just hit the little lines, the bumpy lines in the middle? And the car in the lane next to us laid on the horn and rolled down the window and glared at Kyle. Kyle waved. Sorry about that. <laughs> It's hard to drive straight sometimes. Some people get so angry. It wasn't even anything, like it didn't look like you were gonna hit him or anything. I'm, I'm like the most safe granny driver ever. And I wasn't even alarmed by your tiny, tiny swerve. I'd like to brag about how I was the good mediator in between you and Sophia. Oh yeah, Kyle was laughing that Doc, the doctor and I were both a little awkward shy. or shy, yeah. And Kyle was like <laughs> this mediator, helping, each of helping you us out. all, helping each of us converse. <laughs> You're the best. I love you. I love you too. You enjoying that warm sweater? <laughs> it's nice and cool in the car. I'm hot now. We have the kids and Ellis, where are we where are we heading? Oh, we're already at swim class. Swim class, let's go. When are you excited to see Ellis swim? It is seven o'clock. This look of mine is questionable. I don't know what my hair is doing. <laughs> and I'm wearing the rose colored glasses because she's scared y'all. <sighs> so it's seven o'clock. I haven't heard from my team. So that's good news, right? I think so. I hope so. No matter how positive I'm trying to be, I'm not having any intrusive thoughts or letting my mind go negative routes. No matter how positive I'm trying to be, I'm getting scared and my anxiety is just kicking in full speed. So I came into my room and I'm going to try to do guided meditation and pray and see if that helps. And if that does not help, we will go on to the next attempt at making this better because I'm starting to feel like a panic attack is coming and 
like the world is crashing down on me, crashing in on me. So we don't we don't want a panic attack. I don't. <laughs> so rose colored glasses. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, Jenny Appleford, or Facebook, our brave Jenny, um, you'll last year I wrote a little thing about rose colored glasses while getting my last chemo from last year's treatment so you can look at for that i might just make a video reading it because it's a nice memory i like it all right i'm gonna go meditate Ugh, wish me luck <laughs> I'm done with meditating it seemed to help we'll see <laughs> I'll leave a link to my favorite guided meditation for anxiety in the description box it is like my go-to I almost have it memorized or I probably do have it memorized and I even do it in the doctor's office when my heart rate is too high I'll do it to myself in my head while I sit there and try to get it down and it helps <sighs> I still feel anxious but a lot calmer. So now I'm going to do some things on my to-do list because checking things off of my to-do list usually helps me feel better. The problem is I have been walking and standing a lot today with having to go to City of Hope. And if I'm walking and standing a lot this close to chemo, so it's been a week, um, my feet get that really painful ready to burst feeling and with any touch or walking so I'm wearing my cozy <laughs> slippers from my sis I don't know if you guys remember these from when I had um, my bad immunotherapy reaction and I had blisters all over my feet these slippers saved my life <laughs> from my sis um, and I wore them in the hospital but they're helping my feet now so I have to be careful not to be on my feet too much but I also want to keep busy, so maybe I'll find something I can do sitting. All right. Ellis and I found this little guy stuck in a spider web and now we're trying to help it get its web off, the web off of itself so it can fly. Let's see if we can help him. What do you think? Can we? I don't know. It, it, maybe I can be a vet when I grow up. You, you can be a vet. And you saw the grasshopper? I was, I was, there was a grasshopper stuck in a web and I love it. It's so cute. But they can sing with my butter. Well, <laughs> you can also just throw rocks at it. Sorry. Wow. Good job. We helped it. Good job, you save it. Good job, you save it. Thank oh, you, baby. Medicine. That, was that was a good what? Medicine. Mission? Yes. Good, good rescue mission? Yay, yeah. hey, we saved it. I'll put on the big flower. It flew away. Say goodbye, friend.
Well, it is the end of the day and I managed to not have a panic attack. I am very proud of myself for trying to do some of the coping skills that I use, some of the coping skills that I learned in therapy. And I feel a lot better. There's still anxiety there, but that comes along with scans and cancer. Um, I had a really good evening with my love and my kids. <laughs> and flower. I love you. Now, I'm gonna go to bed. Love you guys. Thank you guys all for being so kind to me always. You guys help so much. I went and read through comments on some of my videos and you guys are so sweet and encouraging and always giving me hope. So thank you guys so much for being part of this journey. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. W, X, Y, and Z.